If you've never seen a Somali and you walk by and see one, you're gonna say, that's a little fox. It may look like a fox, but it's actually a Somali, a striking feline nicknamed the fox cat. They have very bushy tails and they have the very bushy ruff and the pointed ears. Agile and active, these curious cats are famous for their dexterity. They can use their paws almost like um, a monkey and they can hold objects and manipulate things. So if you're sitting and having your family dinner, um, don't be surprised if your Somali jumps on the table and starts reaching out to grab its fair share. Their playfulness is well known, but the Somali's ancestry is a bit of a mystery. It was the 1950s when the breed first appeared in America. It is believed that the Somali um, developed through the crossing of an Abyssinian and a long-haired cat. Kind of a long-haired Abyssinian. One of the marks of this frolicking feline is its ticked coat, which has between four and 20 bands of color on each hair. It gives them a kind of speckled appearance. Absolutely gorgeous. The Somali coat comes in four recognizable colors, red, ruddy, blue, and fawn. And don't forget that luxurious bushy tail that no Somali is without. When you're as beautiful as this pampered Somali, maintaining your appearance is a top priority. Indoor cats especially act like a Swiffer and they pick up dust and dander and dirt and they can get really dirty. Valerie Valinsky should know. She's the proud owner of three Somalis and a pet grooming business called Critter Outfitter in Manhattan. Every few months, her cats get a beauty treatment that would put any kitty to shame. Today, it's seven-year-old Jamila's turn. Valerie begins by clipping her claws and then gently cleaning her ears. And next comes a thorough combing and brushing to remove mats, a must before any wash and dry. The heat is going to set that mat. It's going to be like a boiled wool sweater and you will never get it out. Because cats devote a third of their waking day to self-grooming, removing mats doesn't just keep them pretty on the outside. It keeps them healthy on the inside. And when they swallow the hair, it will amass in the stomach, then the intestine. If they do not cough it up, you can get a big mass in the intestine, a blockage, and then you're really into a life-threatening, serious matter. Now it's time for a bath. It's a myth that all cats hate water. Some even swim. Others get used to it. Jamila gets washed and rinsed over and over in tepid water. That's important to avoid shocking a cat's sensitive system. Valerie uses three shampoos to give Jamila a show cat worthy makeover. She starts with a hypoallergenic shampoo, a special cat shampoo mixed with a trick of the trade, liquid dish soap, which cuts grease. A special whitening shampoo brings out her gorgeous highlights. And a diluted human conditioner works just fine to turn Jamila's coat silky soft. Although Valerie uses three shampoos, only one non-toxic degreasing shampoo is necessary for at-home grooming. But whether you're a professional groomer or just a cat owner, the most important step in the bathing process is to rinse, and rinse again. This removes any traces of soap and makes feline coats light and fluffy. And keeping their heads out of water is essential. It's hyperactive. It's hyperactive. After Jamila gets towel dried, it's time for a blow dry and a brushing, which can take a half hour or more for some obvious reasons. Spend a little time grooming a cat, and you'll understand why they're usually more expensive to groom than dogs. Their spines are amazing, and they can sort of helicopter around, so they're squirmy. Jamila eventually calms down and is finished off with a texturizing spray and a dash of perfume. Yeah, you're ready to go anywhere and do anything, uh-huh. Jamila means beautiful in Arabic, and this primped kitty is really living up to her name. Valerie says animals know when they're looking good. You can just see it by the body language. They hold their heads up a little higher. They say, I'm hot, I'm totally hot. <laughs> Somalis can make excellent pets. If you're considering one, keep these things in mind. These medium-sized cats have a few health issues. 
they are prone to some dental problems, and a small percentage suffer from something called PK deficiency. Without this uh, particular enzyme, they get anemia, which can cause you know, weakness and even collapse. In the grooming department, Somalis require a moderate amount of attention. They do have that undercoat, that mat, so they're going to need to be brushed about three times a week. Fortunately, cats pitch in and help with self-care. Did you ever wonder why feline tongues feel like sandpaper? There are hundreds of papillae, or prickly protuberances, on cats' tongues. And they use them like a comb, removing any traces of odor that might warn prey of their whereabouts. This energetic feline isn't recommended for the frail or the elderly. It's the kind of cat who will knock things off mantelpieces, but so gorgeous to look at you, have to forgive them. To sum up, Somalis have a few congenital health problems that can be avoided by seeking out reputable breeders. They should be brushed two or three times a week, and they're better suited to families who have the energy to entertain them. If you're looking for a lovely cat with a lively personality, the Somali can make a faithful feline friend.